Hi guys, today I am going to bring you this wonderful fresh and light chicken salad. It's going to be so quick and easy. I've done this uh, one afternoon after work and it took me about 30 minutes while you have your chicken going, you shred your cabbage, your vegetable real quick and voila! Some dressing. This is a secret dressing and you got it. Let's do it. So here is a cabbage. I have a white cabbage and a little bit of red cabbage left over and a carrot some nice color uh, and I'm always adding an onion and I want some green so this is Rau Ram Vietnamese Rau Ram but you can use basil if you want and a few limes and don't forget your chicken boneless skinless chicken thighs is what I'm using wash them and put them in a pot Add water to the uh, level of the meat. We're going to boil this for about 10-15 uh, minutes. Season with about half a tablespoon of salt and half a tablespoon of sugar on high heat until it's boiled and then simmer down to low to medium for 15 to 20 minutes. Cut your vegetables kill them like how you always do you buy organic you feel like you need to eat the whole thing that's totally fine I'm running through my vegetable with this shredder because it's kind of like thin but you can cut them and slice them and shred them however you want they even sell the vegetable ready shred Going through with my cabbage, a red cabbage. You can use your knife, you know, you can cut them thinly like this. Or you can just shred it straight into the bowl. Do it however you want to. This is a white cabbage, uh, medium to small size. I'm only using a third. I'm telling you, this is like super, super quick. I mean, I'm doing all this while my chicken is cooking and it's like 10, 15 minutes. See how light that is? Add on to my color and I'm going to show you, you know, slowly, thinly slice. It's take a little longer, but you can do it. Half an onion. Same thing, going through the routine. Shred, shred, shred. I take about 10 to 15 seconds to shred the half an onion. Paper thin. Well, you can make them maybe an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch thick. That's fine too. Fire you! I cut my limes in half like this because I'm gonna use my uh, lime squeezing machine. Add in here a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, and some black pepper, two tablespoons of fish sauce going in. Squeeze uh, my lime in, like I think I used two. My son still half of it. But squeeze in your lime and add about half a cup to a cup of water and let it sit there. Give a quick stir and then just set it aside for about five minutes while you pick out your greens. This is Vietnamese Rau Ram. I'm only using a handful of this. I like some mint tea, you know, some green. Just a few leaves here and there. But this, you can use basil, you can use mint. So don't use like oregano or something that's very pungent, you know, too much. That's all I would, would not use. But if you like it, you use whatever you want to, seriously. Uh, it looks nice already. And I'm going to toss it up real quick, like just lightly mix it up. I don't want to squeeze my vegetable, so just slightly toss it up. And I'm going to add in my fried onion for some crunchiness. and add in my 
white onion that was soaked with the like sour and sweet and a little salty you know toss it up my chicken is ready I'm going to cut these into bite sizes I like chicken thighs because I don't I don't like the white meat I like dark meat better because it seems like the white meat when you after you cook for a while it's, it's kind of like dry it doesn't matter how much how, how good you do whatever you do unless you put it in soup and I think dark meat has more flavor to it also and add them on here toss them up real quick I'm just gonna mix it around real quick and to make sure everybody take a bite and get a little bit of this a little bit of that and you're at the end of it see how quick that is you know because I'm under camera I plate these on the plate for you guys but if we're at home I can just eat out of that bowl and we got some green some red some orange some white some chicken some crunchy shallot or onions you know drizzle a little extra of that in there i'm making me feel like drooling you know, already i hope you enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up if you like it and more importantly do it because it's so easy share this video share this recipe share the food that you made and if you want more Vietnamese Asian home cooking, you're at the right place. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Me làm vậy. Me làm vậy. Me đang làm.